And like I've been a fan of X Factor since yeah, it started and I so watch long. it every week. So to be part of it, it's really surreal. It feels fine. And then all of a sudden you'll look left and you'll see Simon and like a big X and you'll be like, oh God, I'm on the X Factor. Is it true you always get invited to Simon's house once you're a judge? So have you, has the invite I've happened? I've been once. How many times have you been? Twice. Oh, you've only been once? Yeah, right? I only went once. We all went once, didn't yeah. we? It was the night before Glastonbury. It's a special moment going to yeah. Mr Cowell's. Is he a good host? Very good host. Great host. It's a really small, modest one-bedroom flat it's in Holloway. It's a tiny one-bedroom um, flat yeah. in the middle of Brixton. But he Road. makes the most of it, you know? <laughs> Did he do a shepherd's pie or no, something? No, he gives or... you a packet of frazzles and a fanta. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah. To share. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he's mega. He does look like... Um, it looks like you're going to judge's houses, doesn't it, with yeah. like, the fire around and things. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. really <laughs> dramatic. A few people have suggested, Simon, that you're slightly softer this series well, yeah. because That's you've all about had the a edit. child. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say to that? Uh, it's definitely made me happier, 100%. I mean, you know, when if someone had said to me two or three years ago, you're going to have a kid, it's like, yeah, right. You go through that kind of boring phase at six months, you get nothing back. Like, yeah. Actually, you know what? He hates me, doesn't do anything. Whereas my dogs are sort of like all over me. And then suddenly there comes a point where, you're right, they start to become you. Um, and you can teach them things. And thinking, how much do I want him to be like me? <laughs> <laughs> thinking, it's literally you know, like mini me. It's yeah. literally like the exact same person. And, and the other day, I mean, he's only what, 18 months now. And I said to him, go and give me a piece of mango, please. I wasn't really being serious. And he got up, <laughs> got a <laughs> piece of mango, came back. And I thought, God, you're going to be so useful. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing is when you time them, be like, I yeah. bet you can't go and get me a piece of mango <laughs> in 10 seconds. That's coming next. That's <laughs> <laughs> now, the other day, we saw you get very emotional. I'm presuming here that was to do with your mum, Julie, was it? Who... Uh, and I think it was the, the last audition. And, uh, you know, I wasn't really expecting, you know, what happened. And, of course, the lyric and the song, and, mm. you know, it's, it was quite difficult because I, I thought, God, this is going to be really hard to sit through this. Mm. Uh, but then you've got to think of him and it's his moment. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was very emotional, yeah. Mm. And she I mean, you couldn't fan, speak, wasn't she? Massive fan of she the show. She was a huge fan, Ruth, of the show. Yeah, she loved, she loved this show, yeah. Which kind of made the decision about, you know, when, when do you go back to work on something like this? Because it's, mm. it's hard. And, and, I, and it really was what I thought she would have said to me, which is, no, 100% you've got to go back to work. But, I mean, it just goes to show how much, like, a song and a performance can, can move you. And I guess mm. that's why we want to be part of this show, because it's those real moments that make it so, so exciting and honest. The audience go nuts at you on this oh, show. Oh, this is it's like, like... It's almost like when they're watching it, it's like, it's actually more their decision than our decision. Yeah. Of course, if you dare to disagree, they go crazy. Mm. But I think it's quite funny. Yeah, I remember Cheryl coming on the radio about yeah. two <laughs> days after Six Church Challenge, and she was like... Traumatised. <laughs> I said, what's wrong? She's like, Six Church Challenge. And like, have you just done it? She's like, no, it was three days ago. <laughs> like, still, still freaking yeah. out about it. How are you finding criticising people? Because I have to say, watching your face, yeah. you, you kind of look very innocent and, and really <laughs> excited to see people. Apparently, I look really excited. Yeah, you do. I thought I'd find it easier because when you watch it at home you're like rubbish yeah mm. next but then when you're there and you can see like the whites of their eyes and maybe you can see like their grandma right. or like their mom <laughs> oh. and they're sort of like this yeah. it's hard, it is Don't hard mess to say with and, banana. I, and i get and, I, it's tough, banana and I think they deserve more of a, a reasoning what about as a mentor rita you've been in the business you know the business what would you be telling your group who you're mentoring about being in this industry I think it's okay to have a no. It's not the end, you know. I've been in and out of deals my whole career, so I think that's important to just kind of get that connection across and to just keep getting at it and keep going and going. And what about ratings and things? Do you look at those? Do you bother? Do you read the critiques? Oh, you have to, yeah. but the, the truth is, from when I first started, I mean, this would go about 12 years ago, they used to get the overnight numbers. Now everything changes. They pounce on the overnight number, <laughs> yeah. and it's like, you're down, and it's like, no, you've got to wait a week. Uh, I don't really like audacious, sort of ostentatious ways of being, and I think he's really talented, Kanye West, and it's just a shame that some of the things he says mm. that aren't so talented, in my you opinion. You actually like his music, though? Yeah, I think, he, I think okay. he's a really good musician. 